Hopkinton Middle School students and teachers battled it out on the basketball court for Project Just Because. The organization provides programs and services for families, children, and seniors. The teachers have won the game since it started about 15 years ago. Could they do it again? Teachers led the students after one quarter, 19 to 11. At the half, it was 32 to 24 teachers. Students cut the lead to five, heading into the fourth. It was a great game, but in the end, the teachers took the victory, 71 to 58. So a uh, great game out there. It looks like the students gave you a challenge this year. Uh, they sure did. They sure did. Uh, we've run this event. We've won this event 15 years in a row now since I've been here, since we started this event. But the kids gave me gave us a really good game today. They really shot the three well. That hurt us. They got pretty close at the end there, but uh, we pulled away as always. Could you talk about the event uh, today and what it was all about? Yeah, it's uh, to benefit uh, Project Just Because and uh, the HMS Best Buddies program, which I am the. Uh, faculty advisor for so it's a really great event last year we raised uh, just about five hundred dollars and I'm thinking based on the crowd we saw here today we're gonna be at that number or even more so all that money will go to project just because and the best buddies program here all right how did it feel hitting the floor again oh it was good it was good uh, we're getting old that's for sure <laughs> all right thanks a thanks a bunch after another tremendous season the Hopkinton Hillers swimming and dive team held their end of the season banquet Awards and prizes were given out as the great season officially came to an end. Uh, so this year we had 57 kids on the team and we really were not sure where we are going to be at. Uh, we graduated, as we saw last year, a lot of veterans, a lot of top swimmers. We had 22 new kids come in, some are freshmen, some are upperclassmen, and we quickly learned that we had an incredible amount of depth on our team. We finished the season second place in TBL, Six-time TBL meet champions. Co-ed, we were six and one. Girls were five and one. Boys were two and five. And I'm pretty sure we were six for six on prom dates. <laughs> A new stat we kept this year, 354 is how many times Kylie said literally. And 287, how many times she said actually. <laughs> new team records. <laughs> I got more coming too. <laughs> the girls were South Central sectional runner-ups for the first time in program history. And this, <laughs> by one point. The girls team will be recognized as National Scholar Team Gold Award winners for the eighth year in a row with an average GPA of 3.986. Which beats last year's mark where we were fifth in the nation. But our true, our true character showed at the end, uh, and a lot has been said throughout the state about what our team does, not only winning, but in losing. We continue to be that team that's looked upon in the South Central as such a strong team with a commitment to excellence, with a commitment to sportsmanship. We are continually being asked to compete against teams throughout the area for one sole purpose, not so they can beat up on us anymore, so they are swimming the best.